Hi there, this is another quick uh, video, and uh, this time uh, I'm in ArcGIS, and this is actually a continuation of a previous video where I used the 3D Analyst uh, Create Line of Sight. That's in uh, a previous video, number uh, 36, I think it is. So when you click on that, click on a point, click on a point, and it's a red or green dot to show you if you can see that location or not. Uh, please watch that video, that previous video, to uh, uh, see all the detail of that. But what I, what I want to do is um, actually highlight all the cells, all the raster cells, that can be seen from this point. That's, that's called view shed analysis. Uh, we've got a single observer point, it's just this one I'm going to use as input, but I could have multiple and uh, and, and the sort of count of those points would be added to my result uh, table. But the um, in this scenario I just want to use this one and, uh, and, and to uh, show you all the cells of this raster uh, being highlighted uh, when they're visible. So it's a 3D analyst tool and um, we can, uh, under the 3D analyst tools here, uh, in the toolbox you can see visibility and you can see view shed. So I double click on view shed, the input raster, it's just this clip, this is just a clipped SRTM that I've got here, that's all I'm going to process on. In the background here you can see our Orbis mapping as usual in ArcMap, looking all, uh, all great with lots of nice detail and uh, you can see we actually have some uh, sort of elevation burned into our, our mapping unlike um, other data sets which I'm sure you'll add or uh, agree or really add uh, to the experience of using uh, the GIS and of using your own data. So on the input I shall click on observers which for the moment is just this one point so what can I see? What raster cells can I see from there? Uh, I could put a above ground value, Z factor. Interestingly, it defaults as one here, and it continues to show this warning sign even though there's a one. Uh, and I only want one because it's just all meters. I'm not changing it. If I actually then type one, it actually then gets rid of the warning. So, uh, but anyway, so I've set one. There is a value and I shall press OK. So you can see the processor running down here. You see the uh, bottom right here. And you get this uh, very garish pink color and also green. Let's just get rid of the garish pink color. So you can see on the left here it's added this layer. It says not visible and visible. So that color, I just double click, go to properties, color is null, press OK. And now I can see straight through. And in fact, if I turned off my um, SRTM clip, you can see all the green uh, cells, all the, all the cells here, the raster areas that can be viewed from this point. I can um, actually turn the full SRTM back on, and you can see uh, all of that. Let's just reduce transparency a bit. And then you sort of get the whole picture now. So the point being, all the all the cells, all the values within these green areas, these have been selected because they are viewable from this point. These rust areas created uh, are the result of the view shed tool. This is what a view shed analysis creates an output raster. I hope that's useful. Thanks very much.